Hello, everybody. This is AK. I'm back. So, um, if you hear some strange noises in the background, that's me sucking on the cough drop. <coughs> yeah. My throat has been irritating me again. Anyway, I want to do this recording very quickly while the information is still fresh in my mind. In um, the recent, or not so recent by now, uh, podcast I did with the fifth person, I said I really did not have the inclination to look at uh, new stuff to invest in. And I'm quite happy with my current portfolio. I just look at the stuff that I have. Um, and I'm just building my cash position while waiting for Mr. Market to give me another opportunity to add to my positions. Um, but um, what's the catalyst for this video? Well, someone I know, someone I've known for, I think, almost 30 years by now, won some money at the lottery. I think it was like $20,000. Yeah, I mean, it's not a mind-boggling sum of money by today's standards, but it's still quite a bit of money, right? And he was wondering uh, what to invest in. Um, or he should, should he just save the money uh, in a fixed deposit? And, and I asked him, well, did he need the money? Uh, right away or um, in the near future if, if he if that's the case then of course the fixed deposit makes sense right something with a fixed duration and at the end of it you get your money back and you use it for whatever you want to use it for that you need to use it for and uh, he said no it's just spare cash well uh, in that case he might want to think of investing in um, some good businesses right and I, I knew that when he called me he probably had something in mind already and, and he went on to ask me um, if he should invest in um, capital land ascenders REIT <laughs> so I, I I I asked him why then 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 he he, he said well I, I know you are into in investing in the stock market so um, I I asked my stockbroker and he, he said um, Capital Land um, Ascender Street, you know, they have real estate and uh, I get a share of um, the rental, right? And the yield is like 5.4%. Oh, that's what the broker told him anyway. And I looked it up and yeah, it's, about, it's around 5.4% distribution yield. And he he was quite uh, impressed, and uh, he found it rather attractive. So he asked me for my opinion. Um, he didn't just plong the money right in. I I guess that showed um, that uh, he held me in high high regard, and uh, I was truly humbled. And I was very careful with what I said because I mean it's money. I <laughs> I don't want to lose a friend because of money. But at the same time, I didn't want to say, oh, do what you want, you know, I, I, um, and say no comments because I might lose a friend that way too. <laughs> so I just said, well, I'll just give you a comparison and then you decide on your own, right? I say if it's at 5.4% you, if you were to invest the money in OCBC or UOB, you get that kind of yield as well, 5.4%. And um, around there anyway. And uh, if you look at the book value, I mean, Ascenders REIT is trading at about 1.2 times book. right? I, I just looked it up. Uh, OCBC, UOB is around there, about 1.2 times book. So, and then if you um, look at 
both these things. They say, oh, they're about the same, so it doesn't matter whether I invest in Ascendus, or I invest in UOB or OCBC. Then I threw in um, something else, and if you follow me long enough in my videos, uh, uh, in my YouTube channel, you 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 know what I'm going to say next. Well, the the kicker is, the kicker is that um, Ascenders REIT has to pay out 90 to 100 percent of its distributable income in order to give you 5.4 percent, whereas OCBC and UOB only pay out 50 percent of their earnings to give you 5.4 percent dividend yield, and they retain the other 50 percent of the earnings. So they have retained earnings, which they can use to invest with, which makes them more valuable over time. Whereas Ascenders REIT, if they want to grow, they will have to do private placements, which would dilute current shareholders, or they have to do um, rights issues, and the current shareholders would have to fork out even more money, right, uh, in order to help it to grow. So I say think about that if both of them are yielding the same which one would you invest in i mean he called me uh, we were on the phone but i could almost visualize a light bulb lighting up <laughs> over his head then i said oh i see <laughs> uh, so i so i said you know in in the current environment i i do find it very hard uh to persuade even myself that uh, blue chip REITs, the so-called blue chip REITs, are better investments than our local banks, right? If you were to just do a comparative analysis, but I'm all as I've always said, I'm talking about valuation, valuation. I'm not talking about prices. I'm just talking about valuation, not prices per se, not prices on their own, right? Because if you just look at prices on their own and say, oh, but this REIT, the price has gone up by 10, 15 percent, you know, so you are wrong, you know, <laughs> they are doing well. I said, no, it's a stock price that is doing well. Um, it doesn't mean that, you know, it has provided you with more value as an investor, right? So um, then he, he did say, well, the his stockbroker told him that um, the stock price for Ascenders Street could go up another 10, 13% based on the research that's done by the uh, in-house researchers. I, I don't know how the in-house researchers could say something like, oh, we think the the the, the, the unit price of a center street will go up by now 10, 13% in the next six months to 12 months. How, how, how do they know that? <laughs> I don't know. Price might be very important to some people, you know, the traders. The prices, they are, they are important to traders. All right. But, um, I think it's rather unknowable <laughs> what they'll do in the future, the prices. But value, value, we know what is the value of something we're buying. If we bother to do the legwork, the research, we know the value, right? So remember what Ron Buffett said before, right? Price is what you pay, value is what you get, right? So that's all. Bye-bye.